let's set up some price levels for different customers within our QuickBooks software. Setting different price levels is a feature that's only available in QuickBooks Premier and Pro versions. To begin, let's come under the Edit pull-down menu and let's come down to Preferences. Here, select Sales and Customers, Company Preferences. Check this box, Use Price Levels. This activates the Price Levels feature. Click OK, and now the next step is to set up different price levels. Let's come here under the Lists pull-down menu, and let's come down to Price Level List. Here you can see we already have two levels set up. Let's add a third. New. This is going to be our wholesale price list. And everything is set up based on the standard price. We're going to show you what the standard price is here in a moment. We can either increase the sales price by a percentage or reduce the sales price by a percentage. For our wholesale customers, we're going to reduce by 20%. Click OK. Now we have three price levels. These are based on standard price. Let's look at a standard price. Let's maximize this window so we can see it a little bit better. Let's come into doorknobs. Here is our standard price, $30. So when we set up price levels, the price level feature looks to this field and bases its calculation on what's in this field. Click OK. And now let's demonstrate how this works. Let's open up one of our customers. Let's maximize this window too. And let's scroll down here to Lou Plumbing. Let's open Lou Plumbing and let's come to the Additional Info tab. Here is where we set price levels. We're going to assign Lou Plumbing our new price sale of host our new price level of wholesale and click OK. Now let's invoice Lou Plumbing for a doorknob and let's see if it works. Let's come here into customers, create invoices. Lou Plumbing comes in and let's pull in one of our doorknobs. You can see his rate is 20% off the $30. He has a $6 discount, $24. Click Save and Close. That's how to use price levels within your QuickBooks software.